What's up, everyone? My name is Chris Marshall with my boy, Frank G. We are the hosts of Build the Empire Podcast. Frank G, tell the people what we do. What's going on, everybody? Chris and I, we discuss established empires while showcasing us building ours. Happy May. A year ago, we just finished doing 30 shows in 30 days. Remember those times, Frank? Yeah, April, 30 for 30. 30 days of April, 30 episodes. Yep, and now we are in May 2021. Sure lived uh, uh, a different year, that's for sure. Um, next week and the week after, we should have some pretty good guests. Um, I'm hoping, and I don't think I'm going to be let down, that our buddy Jared comes back on. Shout out Jared. Jared's Shout a while Jared. ago. It's been a while now. It was about a year ago. It's almost like I'm going to be doing a reunion tour. Get these people back on. See what's been going on in the year. Who Who's excelling? Who's still motivated? Who's still excited? Uh, who's still ambitious? And who's still just grinding? I'm sure everyone who we had on the show is doing just that. Otherwise, you probably are not on the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the show's probably not for you. <laughs> but here we are. Now, I thought that we would discuss on this show kind of what we've been immersed in recently ourselves okay and in what particular aspect well i could put you on the spot right now and have you look dumbfounded aka dumb when i ask you what do we do on our rec our recreational time what do we do on our recreational time i do many things i like to work out me and you, I don't work out with you. <clears throat> we did a long time ago. That did has it has been a few years. Uh, yeah, ever since I poisoned you, you you kind of left me. But I get it. I get that. Yeah, that was a real unethical move on your end. I mean, we can talk unethical moves all we want. I mean, uh, you're the one who made me eat the chocolate when I didn't need to. Uh, well, you're not a dog, so chocolate's fine. Yeah, not not when there's mushrooms in it. <laughs> All right, I'll be honest here. Okay, I gave you an extra scoop to free pre workouts. Se uh, six extra scoops. I'm pretty sure it was a total of seven pre workout scoops. You were fine. You could have had a great workout if you didn't get your emotions right up. <laughs> it was a lot of caffeine in there. <laughs> Say again? Uh, it was a lot of caffeine in that drink. I could see why your emotions were running rapid. I feel like I ran home. You did. Halfway. Yeah, you you were chasing me like out in the movie, like I broke I, your heart. I, I felt bad. I felt bad. You walked out on me in the gym, and that's it. You never returned. Here we are. That was five that years was, later. That wasn't the last time I was in the gym, but probably close to it. Close um, to it. But if we're referring to mushrooms, I wasn't. <laughs> I was referring to ethics. <laughs> well, I'll get I'll get to the answer here, unless you want to give it a shot. There's so many things. <laughs> so it's like, I, it is I mean, no every, it's... Everything you're thinking of, you can't necessarily bring on air. But I, the the answer I'm looking for is, is video games. <laughs> I'm also I'm glad you were looking for a specific answer out of the many things that we do. So, all right, video games, the virtual, pew, pew. <laughs> yeah, uh, pew, pew. It just made me think the business inside video games, how much video games are worth, top grossing video games, top grossing gamers, the fact that gaming has elevated and became an actual industry where, you know, people who are 14, 15, 16 can kind of have dreams and aspirations of being video gamers. I think our time is lost. I don't think we necessarily have the skill sets. I seen you in Call of Duty. I don't, I don't, I don't see it. Oh yeah, I'm a beast. I probably, I, I could start streaming. You probably could start streaming, but I mean, people watch streams for probably two reasons. One, an entertainment factor, and two, this person is actually good. So if someone was to watch your stream outside of a family and friend giving you support, it has to be entertaining. I mean, I'm pretty nasty. So I guess I, I work on the entertainment aspect. I suppose. I mean, it just is mesmerizing how you think your nastiness is so subjective and biased that I can't even have a real conversation here. 
I mean, there's plenty of room to grow. I'm not saying I'm the best. You certainly are not getting paid off your gaming because you, my friend, suck. First of all, when it comes to video games, you can tell the people who is naturally better. Okay, that is false insinuation right there, okay? Because we know there's no one superior better than the other. <laughs> I don't know. You sound like you weren't showing yourself there. Because I had to think. I had to think of our last gaming experiences. Our last gaming experiences, you were in last place, and I was in second to last place. Okay, but prior to that, if we're going to bring up this game, Valorant, which, by the way, is the top five most popular game currently in the past year. Pretty interesting right there. Um, streaming, like you're saying, streaming-wise. PC gaming-wise. Yeah, it was because it's a competition, and that's I, that's how people be getting paid. What I found fascinating, though, is that the other game in which we play, because I'm not a Call of Duty guy. I'm not a fan of Call of we, Duty. I we all know to, that. Uh, I mean, the listeners don't know that. They don't know I'm not a Call of Duty guy. Um, but I am a PUBG guy. And PUBG is like within the top 10 gross video games of all time. Well, I mean, it makes sense. It's been around. I'm sure Grand Theft Auto is probably like the top game. There is one game bigger than Grand Theft Auto 5. <clears throat> Grand Theft Auto currently has 140 million in sales, obviously by Rockstar on all platforms. There's only one game that is higher than Grand Theft Auto. A current game? Current game, still pretty popular. Uh, fascinating game. I always kind of wanted to play it, but I just never League of Legends? It. No, that, that is the most popular game, though. That is currently being played of all time. Yeah, that game is lame. Yeah, well, I'm a fan of Smite, and you think Smite's kind of lame. So I, you're just not a fan of, of MOBAs, I suppose. But this particular game is I, – I, maybe I should get it, which is Minecraft. <laughs> I can't see you playing Minecraft. <laughs> Why not? You don't, you don't see the architect in me? I mean, what would be the point of you getting Mar Minecraft? What would you want to do in Minecraft? I don't know. What do you do in Minecraft? You create, like, your own world, right? It, I mean... You can, it, yeah. And you, you, you communicate with other people online as they create? I mean, I, I'm not, like, a Minecraft player, but you certainly can build a house that looks like... Uh, Nintendo 64. <laughs> yeah, White from the office when he was his video game character, he made everything exactly the same, <laughs> except he could fly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Um, I don't know. Cool to fly, though. Uh, yeah. There's plenty of games in which you could fly, though. Yeah, but the games, the games that people play to like make money are games that I, I mean, it's right now it's just these battle royale games. Everyone's getting tired of. Getting tired of them? Yeah, the people who aren't making, like, I guess this money are just tired of it being the number one games. Well, so I looked up who are the top 10 earners in the gaming world. Nick and Mark's got to be out there. Number six is, is Dan Middleton. In which, I mean, he's got twelve million pretty much off Minecraft. Net like but, net worth. Um, I don't necessarily have that particular number. I have earnings, mm -hmm. so I don't know what they do with their investments and whatnot. But I mean, a lot of it, a lot of it comes down to social presence of entertainment, I suppose, because it's it's putting your your content out there, creating an audience of entertainment, and being good. And then next thing you know, you have millions of subscribers, followers, viewers, and then you you leverage that into money, pretty much everything in the internet game. But the fact that you can now do it with video games, while 10, 15 years ago is not even a thing, is pretty intriguing. Who did you say would be up here? Nick Marks. And what's he do, Call of Duty? 
Oh, number 10. Number 10. Uh, he has earnings of $6 million. Made a name for himself in Fortnite. Playing with a controller. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's uh, I mean, he, he pretty much signed with Barstool Sports. He has a, he does something with them. He, yeah, he has a $2 million ex- uh, exclusivity deal. He just became like owner or like some leader of the FaZe clan, which is just apparently a crazy clan that, uh, you have to be the best of the best in Call of Duty, I guess, to be in there. But so yeah, you're I mean, far away. I mean, we're all far away from that. All right, I, I know where I stand. I just wanted to check your your delusional state. <clears throat> There's no delusion here. I don't understand. I don't understand. Every single one of your friends is better than you at Call of Duty, except for Chris Marshall. I don't the these false allegations with no uh, evidence is just completely baffling. I don't understand where this is coming from. I've been in parties with you and your friends, and it's usually me in last place, and you were the second in last place. I don't understand what you're not comprehending. I guess I'm comprehending the the fabrication of what you're creating in your own head because it certainly doesn't happen. You, you are out your bird. You are out your bird. The, this is a irrelevant conversation because you're just spewing nonsense. I don't understand. It's like I want Lenny and Ick on the show so they can sit here and tell me that out of the four of us, you would be the third best player with us four. <clears throat> well, now you're just going to four people out of everybody. So now you, you're you just making up stuff. What this am I even, making this up? This isn't I, even making sense. You say, I have, so I only have four friends. In which I can make uh, a conclusion by seeing them, yes. I don't know. I mean, you have more friends that you play with, I'm sure. Maybe you're better than others. Certainly better than you. I didn't say you were in Call of Duty, yeah. I would say majority games. I mean, we play like four games. I don't... I don't. <clears throat> and majority, who's better? Me. Yeah, that's what, that's what I thought. This whole fabrication bullshit... I what? don't want to hear. I don't want to hear about any video games coming from your mouth. I got no, you. To no get a show is on video computer. games. What do you mean? What do you mean? You want me to just move on? You have a, a memory lane Monday over here. What, you want to talk about something in the past? Go ahead. Yeah, memory lane Monday. <clears throat> I was uh, so a long time ago. I guess five years ago, I used to work Getting out. Yeah, kicking buddy. Call of Duty. I used to work out with a buddy who I thought had my best interest, and you know wanted to grow. If and, you're bringing uh, up this extra dosage, and I'll, I'll I'll tell my story. Then, uh, you know, we, he picks me up. We go to the gym, and he's, right, I, I don't have a pre workout. Name names. Name names. Uh, this is no. We don't need to get into into specifics here. I don't want anyone to feel bad or judged. Interesting. Or looked at negatively. So I was picked up by a friend, and then I was told I'd have a nice pre workout to get the juices flowing. You know, sometimes it's a long day and you don't want to. I wanna, was providing that juice. You don't want to work out without that. It's better than juice. healthier juice. <clears throat> so I'm do, I'm working out, feeling kind of like, you know, tingly loose. I and bet. Then, and then. Seven scoops of caffeine does to you. It makes you feel Come to know of it. Uh, you know, when you're supposed to have one scoop of this pre-workout and a drink. You I get seven. You could have up to four. Up to four. Yeah. Which is a high dose. So, I mean, depends on body frame. I don't remember the exact conversation of what was going on. I just remember that I was being flustered and bothered by whatever we were talking about. Very big gym. Could have went on the other side. <clears throat> so when I found out that there were seven scoops in this thing, I turned around, I ran out the gym, and I walked home. I was just angry, and I had a lot of caffeine in me, so I needed to walk off something. Then that, I'm walking down the this block. Is the, this is the shittiest memory lane Monday story I've ever heard. I am walking down the block. We already said this, this story in the beginning of the show. Kid, and this kid is chasing me with his car. I don't understand. around Staten Island. Bad guy, because he knew he... We could have just copied and pasted what bad. we said in the beginning of the show and place it down memory lane Monday, and you would have you would have saved me from this nonsensible story. Well, it was better than your nonsense that you're spewing about video games. 
Listen, my first off, I'm spitting nothing but facts when it comes to numbers. And when it comes to peers taking constructive criticism. <clears throat> and what constructive criticism? I mean, I think we know you don't what constructive have, criticism I'm speaking here. You don't even have the skills to be constructive in criticizing in the game that you are so bad at. I don't play that game. Therefore, I You can don't play that game anymore because you were so bad at it. That is false. When people say they don't like a game and they've played it a bunch of times is because they're bad at it. That is false. I've only played a few rounds. Which you were very bad at. I wasn't that worse than you. You were way worse than me. I mean, if you had four kills, I had one. Maybe. And everyone else had like 12. This is how we know you lie, because 12 kills in Warzone is not an easy thing. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen like 12, 7, 4, and 1. Sounds like I had 12. Nope. You had four-ish, maybe. Well, we could easily put up a... I guess a video here to show the people that you don't know what you're talking about. What video you want to put up? I, I mean, we can go on PUBG. I'll scrape you. I First mean, all, the only again, reason why you get kills is because you just also, pick off my guys. I'm also better than you on PUBG. I mean, you're slightly better than me. If not, you still need me. I need, well, I need you. I, I need a second player if I do duos. I don't need you. I, First off, I didn't like the context in which you just spewed you in, okay? And second off, I mean, I died yesterday trying to save your ass. Granted, my ass didn't know that I was going to die doing that. But fuck you. All, I'm, all I think everybody knows is that you started this little argument here. By trying to ain't no argument, things, ain't no argument. I things. just tried speaking the facts because I yeah. gotta speak the truth. Nobody knows that these are facts or not. I don't understand what you what you don't understand. I don't I don't know why you feel so sense sensey and uh sensey. I it's just called justice and the truth. <laughs> Joy, wow. Wow. What what do you what do you need the truth on? What do you need the truth on? I am spitting the truth. What truth are you spitting? That you are slightly better than me in some games, <laughs> ass in other games, but you think you're good. I mean, it, it just sounds very subjective from you, so I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you could tell me that I'm better than you. I just did, you moron. You just You just get offended when I tell you you're not good from the collective majority of the people who play. It hurts your feelings. I don't know. Stop playing various what, games and play one. There's no hurting feelings. You're just speaking things that aren't true. So I'm going to obviously speak against it. I am I am speaking things that are true here. I, I don't understand. I have nothing else to say to this conversation. Yeah, you're just, back and you're, forth you're, banter. Back you're and just, forth banter. You're just frustrating me. I see that. I see that. Are you going to walk home? Thankfully, I am already home. That's good. That's good. You plan on practicing any video games later? Uh, I don't need to practice. <laughs> and you're telling me I'm making shit up with that cocky attitude of yours? What do I need to practice for? I don't know. To get slightly better. Uh, Hand-eye coordination. Uh, sleight of hand. There's play. I'll play. I don't know about practice. <laughs> You sound like Alan Iverson. Well, Alan Iverson was pretty damn good, so thank you. I meant you sounded like him in an interview where he talked about practice. Nothing else I see correlates. <laughs> I still take it as a compliment. Sure. Sure. Alan Iverson was like broke by the time he died. Had one of like the longest careers. I don't think it was that long. Um Probably got drafted like 95, 96, probably retired 2010-ish, 15 years maybe. I mean, the back end of his career was uh, team to team. Uh, he certainly could play basketball now better than you could play video games, though, that's for sure. I mean, that just goes without saying he's a professional player. He, he was, was a professional player. What? What? You, you're about to, what? 
You just, I don't understand. You, you're just interesting. What? You're just interesting. What? I don't. I don't understand these comments. What comment? Just useless comments. I don't understand. Put some. Put some like uh, some good content out there. This is great content. I feel like Michael K on the Michael K show. The most hated. And sometimes you gotta be a bad guy. Sometimes I guess you gotta be a villain. And it just so happens that uh, within this show of two individuals. I'm portrayed as the bad guy for speaking facts. I don't, I don't get it, but I guess I'll take it if, if this is what the people want. Well, there's, there's a difference between, I guess, when you say facts, you mean truth. There's a difference between truth and then hurtful truth. If you're trying to be hurtful truth, you really have negative intent, which is not really the truth. I'm just speaking facts. It just seems like you may be getting slightly offended in which the facts are pertaining to a particular game which and is a papa game for for what reason because i've seen it with my own eyes so the reason is to get a reaction which is a negative thing so you are therefore doing an unhealthy whatever you want to call it if that is how you perceive it then my argument to your perception is that if that you can't was the case, argue my perception. It's then, my perception. Then I, <laughs> I just don't understand you. Then, then, then your reaction, I suppose, is good content. So I guess, I guess, good job by me. I was I thinking, was, good job by me. Uh, by what? Holding back your 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 fears and tears and, and anger. Fears, tears, and anger. These are all things that w- what your actions seem to be leading to. So I don't know what you're talking about. I don't understand. If you were acceptive of constructive criticism as a manager at Farragamo, uh, who operates the store, who who tells people and gives them constructive criticism, I would imagine that you yourself can handle that. I would I love. Didn't... What is the definition of constructive criticism? constructive criticism do you like what exactly do you want yeah as you try to look it up currently so you would constructive criticism that's like you saying to me you're a bad manager take constructive criticism like you that is not constructive criticism you're just bashing someone i am just giving you a helpful way of giving feedback that provides specific actionable suggestions rather than providing general advice constructive criticism Sounds like you did none of that. I don't know. I uh, to me, it sounds like I did all of that. <laughs> well, if you think you know it all, and I mean, there's no, there's no helping you. I certainly don't know it all. I'm not going to be delusional and and get a- angry when somebody says I don't, you know, that I suck at a game or something. I don't know it all. I don't know it all. What I do know is what I see. Certainly ain't no anger here. So if you see that, then you see the wrong thing. I mean, we did just have an episode on uh, our EQ. So I would assume you should know what anger is. Or maybe you have a low EQ. I don't know. I like to think my EQ is certainly higher than my IQ. Now, I didn't I didn't uh, accuse anyone of anger. So it seems like you're just taking this out on me. <laughs> I didn't say, Frank, you are angry. I just said the word anger here. And then you just went on a, a soliloquy of 30 seconds of just bitching. You are an interesting character, my friend. Uh, so? <clears throat> because you, you, you say things to... Uh, to try, I don't, I don't need to be honest, it's hard to even explain. Yeah, it's hard to explain, but uh, I mean, I could see, I could see your, uh, I, I guess, frustration. I don't know, you don't seem too frustrated for my EQ scoring, uh, but because you can't frustrate me easily, I know what you try and do, but I already know the answers to all that you try and do, I just ignore it. I don't think so. I mean, what you're thinking I'm trying to do wasn't even the intent. But if it makes you feel any better, you could tell the same story you told three times on the show. Which is what? 
you know, your friend that uh, gave you a high dosage of pre-workout and you went to a gym and then you walked out of the gym and walked home. I only told that story once. I believe you said that story twice. I mean, if you're counting you as me, I guess that then I said it twice. Yeah, sure. You, me, me, you. Uh, if we're on the show together, that's the show. That's the show, baby. That's, that story was brought up now three times. Well, the people had to know you and your unethical moment, I guess. All right. Now, I didn't want to go here because you, you're you talking about ethics, but you poisoned me in a completely more fucked up way. All right. So if we're talking ethics, I don't want to go there. I'll just go back to 10 years ago on a flashback of you stealing money at a job because we were 17, 18, and I had too good of ethics to do that. And even when I did do it, I returned the money later on that day because I was too much of a bitch. I felt wrong. You probably were over there stacking away, reinvesting, making money off stolen money. Dirty money is good money. I get it. I understand. So this is another example of you trying to put yourself in a limelight that doesn't exist because you already admitted to stealing the money as well. Just because you had thoughts of getting caught. So because you put it back, you think you still have not committed a, a, a crime, a, an First unethical off, action. I was not getting caught. I was not scared of getting caught. I just felt the ethics of stealing. Now, my next job, I did that quite a bit. But at that time, I did not. You were you, So me potentially taking... 1999, $20 bill? A $20 bill for a cake. And you repeatedly... Probably five out of six shifts would not be at work in your station while getting paid. So now if you are indirectly saying I steal company time, well, let me tell you something, my friend. I always made sales. So you, what does that mean? I mean, if I pay for my seat and there's an ROI on top of my head, then I use my personality to ensure I don't get fired. And believe me, out of like my eight jobs, I got fired by four, 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 five, had more than half of them. So it doesn't work all the time. <laughs> well, it's very interesting to see that. I mean, that's a lot of times you've been fired. Yeah, but there was a story for every one of them. Well, uh, every... There's always a story to get fired. Yeah, a lot of the times it wasn't even my fault though. I just they they got tired of me. I was I'm a great worker. <laughs> and if we're going back to talk about days that when we were 18, I'm pretty sure you put a few people in like a gambling friggin' obsession. So <laughs> I I certainly never did that. I definitely put people on vices, but they should have the self awareness of understanding what's happening. I can't, I can't help it. And if you want to gamble $5 on betting uh, on a basketball shot in a little cup, like a ping pong, uh, then I can't, I can't help you. I'm gonna take your money. If, if I see money, I'm like a shark in bloody waters. I'm gonna chase after it ethically. I mean, it I sounds a little unethics, unethical. No. If somebody knows the scenario in which they're going into, it's not like I'm a, I'm a street magician who is making people put money up knowing they're going to lose. I mean, there's a fair fight. I'm just – I'm seeing the competitors like as if I was to play Call of Duty, let's say, right? And if it's me, you, and like a couple other friends, I can see you not being as good as the other guys. <laughs> So I'm I'm gonna put money on that. I may not put money on myself to beat you, but I'll put money on the other guy to beat you for a show. That makes sense. You wouldn't put money on yourself. I get it. I'll put money on myself in other video games. Yeah, I'd probably take that bet. All right. Do you want to put a G stack? Yeah, Valorant. Let's roll. <laughs> About to be up a G stack. I am about to be up a G, G stack. You couldn't have said it any more perfectly. A G bird flapping in the wind. Talking about gambling as if you didn't partake in the gambling. It sounds like you have some gambling tendencies. Let me tell you. 
I don't, to be honest, I have probably partaken in those gambling things that we've done uh, at, at our Carvel days because of you. I take full credit for that. Thank you. So then what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I think, I think we're talking about the same thing. I was manipulated. You were not manipulated. You were sold. Ethically. I don't know if it was ethically. How? You knew the game. You knew the stakes. You it's played. Because it's still gambling. And? At so what? You walk, you walk into a casino. The air is crisp. The women are nice. I mean, what? what? I'm 21. I'm good. I don't know. I've seen you lose a couple of bills. I'm saying I'm 21 years old. I could gamble there. That's all good. I see. But I also typically don't like to gamble. It's the difference, I guess, if you're doing something with skill. When you're trying to do a skill thing, you certainly want to show that you're better, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it also changes if you're a little drunk. If I'm a little drunk, I'm likely to gamble a little more. Well, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Your uh, your ability to, like, assess what's going on is just hindered. That's why you wake up in AC and you're down, G-Bird. Happened a few times. And that's why we haven't been – well, it's not why we haven't been to AC in over a year. I don't know. Maybe we should go to AC and gamble. Want to pick a day? I feel like I would need something else to be there. We, I need like an, an attraction. I can't just go to AC for gambling. I just feel like when you're there, you could potentially lose all your money in minutes. Could be up in minutes. Well, the good thing is when you lost a lot of your money, you didn't have much money. It's fascinating how the world works when you mature when it comes to financial stability or at least how you see money. Well, that's because you'd see money as more important as you get older. I guess. I mean, I've been taking bets on Ethereum, and Ethereum is paying me the fuck out. I bought a coin today for about 3200 It went up 12% right off the brick. Boom. Yeah, that's a that's a nice gamble. I mean, that's a... It's an educated gamble. Yeah, it's, that's different than going to the, the, the craps table or the roulette table. Yeah, I tell you what, though, if I was playing against you in Call of Duty, I'd probably put a G stack up. <clears throat> let's set that up. Let's let's set this up for the people in the for next. Uh, I'm kidding. For I'm next kidding. episode, but I I will put a G stack on Lenny or Eka. You can give them a call. I I'll put them up. Maybe not a G bird because that's just a lot of money. I don't think you'd actually do that either. But yeah, I'll put two hundred bucks up. <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure. I've once heard if you ha- someone gives you a price and then you go down on it, you're not really sure of yourself. So that means you know there is a chance that I'll take a G-Bird from you. I mean, of course there is a chance. Oh, but- all right. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's all we needed to know. That's all I- we needed to know. Not really. You're not making no valid point and you're sounding a little silly. But... And- how yeah, am I sounding silly if this, you just are afraid to bet a thousand dollars? I wouldn't say I'm afraid. I mean, I'm I'm gambling educated with probability and statistics in which I'm factoring in my own head, like Rayman or or the guy from The Hangover. But I mean, I don't think you would put up a thousand dollars against them. So I don't want to hear that bullshit. I, then, I, I, will, I will. Okay, let's create an escrow then if you want to fucking be a peach. Uh, be a peach? You just sound like you're mad because I've, I've called you out. You didn't call me out. Now, like, I'll, I'll do I it in have. spite. I'll do it in spite now. Create, put that on the side. We'll record all of this. And, uh, yeah, I, I guess I guess I got I to gotta call your boys and uh, see which one of them wants it more. Obviously, they're going to get a little cut because it's got to make sense for them to, you know, play the game here 
And uh, well, are they gonna are they gonna help you pay me? I don't know. I'm scared you may give them a bigger cut on them falling the match. Now, now I'm <sighs> I'm out. Actually, I'm out. I'm out. Fucking, they're gonna end up flopping. They're gonna flop and then walk away with a couple hundred bucks. I mean, the scenario you create in your head is pretty interesting. So, I gotta create. I gotta think of all scenarios. You know, you know. I, I got. I gotta watch my monies. Ain't nobody watching my monies. Excuses, whatever you want to call it. Just tell the people. Tell the people the truth. <clears throat> the truth that you don't want to put up a thousand dollars against me. You hear that silence? Yeah, I was waiting for you to admit it. That silence is you sucking in video games on saying nothing. I swear, <laughs> you don't make sense half the goddamn time. What? What I say? <laughs> I have. I think I need to to save the people from this. All right. Go ahead, Superman. <clears throat> Superman, what, 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 what are you talking about yet? Well, you're trying to save the people. Go ahead. Save them. I guess tune in next time and see if Chris has uh, puts his money where his mouth is and wants to bet $1,000. Maybe not. When it comes to one of us, you are now rocking with the best. Peace.